Amen. Praise the Lord. Bro, Elliot, but they are here. They are blessed. Amen. By God's grace, we will always speak on and on WhatsApp video one of these days. So I can see. to the recorded version at times you can always go to youtube with if you click on the yeah on the recorded version to take you to our youtube channel Days, let's schedule a time so I can pray with you one on one. At least let's do counseling on the phone. Okay, sir, sir. Yes, let's schedule a time and see. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I break every distraction, every obstacle on the path of your children right now, O oh Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father. Masata Kababa Zodeke, Nimbro Doshkata Brete Sete, Riba Koso Tolombre Doshete Kedere, Riba Katayadala. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. We glorify your name. Yes, God bless you as you join, as you join to pray this afternoon. The Lord God Almighty has remembered you for good in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. His name will be glorified in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. He has turned your darkness into light and brought joy to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Just give God thanks with me this today. <clears throat> Let's just open your mouth, open our mouths, and begin to bless God, begin to give Him thanks. Appreciate Him and worship Him. Appreciate Him and worship Him. He is God, 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 He is God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God Almighty. We glorify your name. We give you praise. We give you praise. We adore you. Father, I thank you for my life. I thank you for sparing me. I thank you for keeping me whole. I thank you, King of glory. I adore you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. I thank you, Father, for giving me life. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the covenant of provision, divine provision and abundance. And I glorify your name. I worship you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord God Almighty together. Amen. Let's give him thanks together. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We adore you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, for you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Let's give him thanks. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. That is the song I just sang. He deserves all the glory. He deserves our praises. Father, we give you thanks. Lord, we bless your holy name. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. We bless your name. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We glorify your name. We say thank you, Father, for keeping me, for keeping us together. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you have not forgotten us. We thank you for your breath, O God, that has given us life. We thank you for your word, O God, that you sent to God, that healed us and delivered us. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. Come open your mouth and give him thanks. Thanksgiving is not too much. Thank him for every bit of your days throughout the year 2023. Give him thanks. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you for every step that I've taken this year. I thank you. In all and all, you have kept me alive. I bless your holy name. Be glorified, Lord. Be glorified, Lord. Be glorified, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. My adore is sent to the Bragadija. My shofra da casa tali brogododo. Repatalin da catos que le bradisha. Baruzene que o numa no zacate bradisca. Bashatale brados. Receive our thanks, O God. 
we give you praise from the depth of our hearts uh, we worship you we worship you corporately as a group uh, oh lord on this platform we worship you we adore you in our individual lives we worship you we adore you we glorify your name come on thank god almighty for the moment that you were you had nothing to eat nothing to drink nothing to put on but that time passed uh, can why can't you give him thanks uh, you did not end up in the grave uh, the dead cannot praise him uh, it is the one that is alive that can praise God. It is the one that is alive that can give thanks to him. Why not say, Lord, I thank you for providing for me. Lord, I thank you for, for, for making your covenant true for me. Thank you, Father, for you do not fail. Can someone recognize, acknowledge, and tell God truly that he does not fail? And that is why you are thanking him. God does not disappoint in his covenant. God does not fail in his covenant. God does not turn back in his covenant. Your, we are the one that do that. We want to thank him. Huh? Lord, we thank you for your covenant. Huh? For you do not turn back, oh God. Miyonkondo peru terie ha. E sali kwa pora nishko poliste. E riba tu le mike tu rapashante ka predu zali ha. Ura dos keke du seli bada. You put a new song in my mouth every day, oh God. Because of your mercy that is new every day. Me lo sieke los. Me le sieke los. A ripa to ya na kwa si telebra di ha. Lord, I thank you. I cannot quantify. I cannot put on the scale. Oh God. Every good thing you have done is uncountable. Oh Lord, I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In my household, in my business, you want to thank God for your career. You want to thank God for your household. You want to thank God for your children. You want to thank God for your business. You want to bless his holy name. Nobody is asking you to pay tax to give thanks to God. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. I come before you in thanksgiving today. I enter your courts with praise. I praise your holy name. I praise your holy name. I praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord, I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord, in my life. to do it one more time or lift my hands in praise of your name lift your voice i lift my voice in praise of your name i just want to sing daddy oh come on let's sing it to him Ashay, we just want to sing Daddy O Ashay, we just want to sing, I just want to sing Baba O, Baba O, Ashay, I just want to sing Baba O, Amen. I will be singing thank you every day in Jesus' name. One more time, I bless God for your life. I thank God for your life for witnessing this day. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. This is seven weeks of divine covenant access. We thank God. He took us through week one, week two, week three, and this is week four. That is about to end on Saturday. I want to bless God Almighty for the covenant of life. Listen to me. It is the covenant of life that I've actually kept you. With the covenant of life in place, no matter what happened, God says, no, you are not dying you know you are not going and you bounce back to life and that is why we say god we thank you for covenant of life i want you to also see i tighten your seat belt and thank god for the covenant of grace and favor god said i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians uh, before he said that uh, he sent moses he said look i've had the cry of my people all that are in egypt there and i've come down to deliver them now after that he said that what you are going through in the hands of pharaoh he said look even even with a mighty hand he will not let you go he said but after i finish what i will do to him what i will do to them in egypt what i will do to that pharaoh he said he will let you go he said but for that to happen i have to give my people favor in the sight of the egyptians there are egyptians in your life spiritually that have tormented you there are pharaohs in your life 
that have tormented you have put you in bondage with the words of their mouth with their action he said but i'm going to grant you favor in their sight he said but to make that happen also tell your women to go and borrow to go and collect from those egyptians those precious things that they worship they worship their gold and their silver and their beautiful clothes that they have put jewelries on go and collect them and put them upon your women and your children and go into the wilderness to come and worship and serve me come on somebody now grace and favor is alive in my life i want you to tell yourself today grace and favor of god is alive upon my life in the name of jesus christ in week three we assess the covenant of healing and divine health it is god's will to heal us and it is packaged in the redemption work it is what it was being god's plan god does not manufacture sicknesses and diseases it is of the devil that's why the, uh, jesus said while he was losing that woman he said why would we not let this woman go who is even a child daughter of abraham that the devil has bound all these years amen somebody it is the devil that do it evil and jesus have come to destroy the works of the enemy amen somebody and uh uh, it is his will and week four is the covenant of divine provision and abundance that we are praying now in few seconds in few minutes we are going to be praying into and assessing the benefits the benefits of covenant of abundance amen somebody are you still with me i want you to lift up your hand and say father every covenant that i've assessed i will not lose it i will not walk out of it in the name of jesus give me the grace oh god to walk in the in the conditions of this covenant oh god the covenant of life give me grace to walk by your word and walk in your word open your mouth please and speak to god almighty everything is done by his word you cannot exist without the living word it is the written word that introduces me to the living word and the living word is jesus christ lord i thank you for every covenant that i've assessed i will not walk out of it oh lord by grace you will keep me in this covenant by grace i will fulfill my conditions in jesus mighty name we pray amen you remember yesterday i want everybody please share all those prayers amen you remember yesterday i told you the simplicity of describing a contract or a covenant is to let you know that every contract <clears throat> and every covenant has a provision that is the content of that contract and the conditions of that contract you meant somebody it is about content and conditions every covenant has a content what is the content of this covenant and jesus christ and our lord our god amen when he made that covenant in the with the blood of his son jesus christ he put a content there he put a provision there he said in exodus 23 he said and ye shall serve me serve the lord thy god and i will take sickness and disease away from you i will bless your bread and waters he said uh, he said uh, there's no one that will cast their young he said no one shall be barren in the land these are pro these are provisions uh, that are put in the content of the covenant and ye shall serve the lord thy god is the content then the benefit is that this is what i will do and your own is to walk in that content you sign every contract you go into every covenant by looking at what it is and following it through based on the conditions amen somebody if you sign a covenant to buy a house and they told you you cannot build you cannot build by yourself to add to the structure of this building is in the contract and when you go ahead to start building an extra structure into that building you have violated the covenant amen then the owner of that contract that has the upper hand in that contract can take any step against you unless you now plead and you follow the penalty that follows or disobeying that covenant nobody receives from god without assessing the covenant of god god does not release anything without showing you what you will do you need to do this first Amen. After all the covenant, I said, Behold, I show you a new covenant, love, that I brought love to you. Amen, somebody. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for he will give you the grace. It's not difficult to walk in this covenant if you can assess his grace. I speak to somebody today. You will effortlessly walk and walk in the conditions that God has given you, and you will enjoy every benefit in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody shout amen and hallelujah over there? Amen, hallelujah amen hallelujah are you still with me why is god interested in abundance now let me before we, we go into deep prayers oh my god i just a, a prayer point flashed into me while i was thanking god in the beginning and i want you to and i want you to quickly assess that prayer right now mm. father on the day of the delivery of my 
blessings i will not be found wanting in the name of jesus on the day of the parcel your delivery when it's going to come to you you will not be found missing can somebody pray that prayer today my father my god on the day of the delivery of my answered prayer i will not be found missing in the name of jesus christ can you pray can you pray for yourself pray for your destiny on the day of the delivery of my answered prayer i shall not be found wanting i shall not be found missing in the precious name of jesus christ yes Ozo koto kolimbra de de de, ashande belute kero se telebra gada. I shall not be found missing. Oh Lord God Almighty, when you bring answers to my prayers, I will not be found wanting. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. I want you to go and say, Lord, in every word that I've heard that have not believed, that unbelief have robbed me of my blessings. Lord, have mercy on me today and forgive me. Can somebody pray? Unbelief have robbed you. Fear have robbed you of certain things that God brought to do in your life fear and unbelief have robbed you of those good opportunities can you open your mouth and pray those areas that have allowed fear that have allowed unbelief to, to rob me <clears throat> of your blessings father forgive me today i am ready to receive restore unto me those things that have been stolen from me through ignorance are you repeating what i'm saying restore unto me everything that has been stolen from me through ignorance restore O oh lord in the name of jesus restore them O lord restore them O lord in the precious name of jesus can somebody shout hallelujah come on shout hallelujah amen yes god bless you on youtube you can type hallelujah right there amen 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 i found out listen very well i found out that actually <laughs> the covenant of abundance actually has become the covering of all covenants you ask me why i told you yesterday that it is difficult so far for english language for dictionary to define and explain the meaning of abundance abundance may be called in english language but it is the name and the personality of god it is the content of god himself the bible said god is love don't miss it God is love. Don't miss it. Tell yourself, say it, say it with your mouth. God is love. Say it, say it. God is love. He said, God is love. That is who God is. And out of if God is love, he contains the love and he releases his mercy. <clears throat> he releases his grace and releases his mercy to his people. And now abundance is the content of that love. And ye shall love and ye shall serve you cannot serve whom you do not love yeah you can do mouth service and eye service in the physical realm not in the realm of the spirit so i found out that abundance actually covers i will show you in scripture that we'll be praying into abundance actually covers all because of his abundance that is that is you fulfilling the condition of the abundance he can do a lot of things for you a lot those are the benefits that are in the covenant amen i want you to lift up your hand and say father lord do not forget me you that remembered noah you that remembered anna you that remembered elizabeth and zechariah you that answered Jabez, O oh Lord God Almighty, remember me today because of this covenant of abundance. I want to walk in your conditions you have given by grace. I want to stand and walk with you by grace. I believe you, Lord. I believe you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Can somebody shout amen? Amen why is god interested in our abundance in abundance why is he interested zechariah chapter 1 and verse uh, verse, verse 17 said cry yet listen he said thus said the lord of hosts my city's true prosperity shall yet be spread abroad and the lord shall yet 
comfort Zion and shall yet choose Jerusalem. He cry yet, thus says the Lord of hosts, my cities, through what? Prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. abroad. My city, this is God saying, my gospel, how do I spread it abroad? Through prosperity, you can spread the love of God abroad. True, listen, listen. I've told you the conditions in our prayers yesterday. For you to walk in abundance, you ask, What are the conditions? The condition is love me, walk with me, obey my words, give, and it shall be given unto you. Every example I've given unto you are people that have come and done according to the word of God. The scripture said, you that want to walk with God. Oh, maybe I should take you there to Isaiah. You that want to walk with God. Say, look at Abraham, your father. Oh my God. Listen, listen, hold on. I'm going to pray. Because I'm, we are going to pray seven to nine benefits. If we don't finish the prayer today, on Saturday at the communion table, we'll pray the rest by the Spirit of God. While I was typing it down on my phone, I was caught up in the spirit because I found that as I was typing it, deep prayer points was coming into my spirit as I was typing these benefits. Now listen. Oh, let me show you something. Ah, Mark Dobada. He said, those of you that want to walk with God, you that want to walk with God, you that want to dwell with God, hearken to me. Isaiah 51. Isaiah 51. Hearken to me. Hearken to me. Listen to me. Ye, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, is your Bible, Isaiah 51. From verse 1. Hearken to me. Listen to me. Ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord unto the rock, whence ye are him, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock. You that seek me, are you seeking God in abundance? Are you seeking God to bless you? Hearken to me, you that want to follow after righteousness. He said, listen to me. He said, you that seek the Lord, what do you need to do? Number one, look unto the rock where ye are here and to the hole of the pit where you were digged. In explanation for that, now said, look unto Abraham, your father. And unto Sarah that bears you, for I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. Are you listening with me? Listening to me. The Lord shall comfort you. The Lord shall comfort me. He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Now listen. What I'm just trying to tell you is, you want God to give you His blessings, His abundance. You call upon the blessings of Abraham. Say, go and look unto that Abraham. Follow what he did. Look unto Sarah that boys you. Follow what she did. Friends, what did Abraham do? He believed God. He had faith. He was counted unto him as righteousness because he believed him. He followed the instruction. God is saying, follow my instruction. I will bring you into that place that you desire. Listen, I may have been falling in different places, but you still have opportunity to say, Lord, I want to walk with you. I want to be you at the center of your world. In 2024, I don't want to miss it again. Can somebody look at 2024 say oh lord god almighty in 2024 i will not miss it again i will not miss it again in the mighty name of jesus i will not miss it again in the mighty name of jesus that god almighty say what have you done what have you given out to the poor what have you given out to the needy what have you brought to me why is god interested in abundance to, to number one to pro abundance that god is interested in, to propagate the gospel to take god's word from place to place from soul to soul your life your words your money your everything to bring to him there are those that refuse to believe ananias and sapphira everybody did but they chose not to they died there immediately it shall not be your portion why is god interested in my abundance to propagate the gospel and help others to know him I want you to make tell God anytime you are talking to God, God is looking at your heart. 
and that is where many people they look at their own negative aspect they look at where they are fell and it's difficult for them to stand why because they want to impress god no we cannot impress god god sees your heart in all that david did a man after my heart god was looking at his heart what is your heart doing i want you to pray because of time number one god is interested in abundance why to propagate the gospel so that he will give you if you are interested to carry god about god will give to you what you need and he will make sure you have your you don't you don't lack any good thing to propagate the gospel you cannot serve god and mammon you are serving god and god has provided for you and you propagate the gospel and you help the needy he will release his wealth kingdom where his god unleashes his wealth on kingdom promoters that i will promote your kingdom i want you to open your mouth and say lord bring me into the realm of abundance i will promote your kingdom help me lord so that i will promote your kingdom i want to promote your kingdom i want to promote the gospel i want to move from place to place i want to be part of kingdom promoters give me the realm of provision and abundance give me bring me to the realm of plenty bring me to the realm of plenty i will promote and propagate the gospel in the name of open your mouth and pray ah in our days of school now in our in, in our days in the school in the polytechnic one of my friends was telling us how his father belonged to a secret society look at the conditions he didn't hide it because it was known in the whole of Delta State, his father belonged to a secret society, but nobody will ever see him there because he uses money to, that is, his financial uh, 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 place to cover his own presence. I don't know how you say it. When you have a society, you say there are financial members and there are those that are not financial members. You understand? Now, they, he, what he was telling us was that he belonged to that secret society, but you will never see him there because he's using his money to replace his presence. He's, that is, if the rest are putting one million, he's putting like two, three million that I will not come. I will not come to meeting. I will not come to your garden, but he will put in money, surplus. Do you understand the picture I'm trying to paint? I'm not telling you to go to a secret society. Our own society is so secret and public and it is global to eternity with Christ Jesus. Now, if he can replace his presence with money in a worldly occultic society, how much more? A ah how much more the kingdom of god how much more so you are crying and your god sees your heart that it is true if i bless this woman it is true if i give to this man ah he will make sure the gospel is preached he will make sure that the needy are not and uh, uh, are not left in that place he will make sure that my servants the, those of my household working in my vineyard they are provided for if god sees your heart god is interested in abundance for one me kwakeda hey my city shall be taken to place in true prosperity. You are asking for God to bless you and you have no portion in the kingdom of God. He will not answer you till next tomorrow, till eternity. That is why many people are so impatient. For faith to work, you must understand the process of patience. And for you to believe, God must be able to assess your heart. Can somebody pray, Father, bless me to be a blessing to my generation. Ah, In the little that I have, I can open my mouth wide. I, God is helping me to be a blessing to people. Both in prayers and in the little wealth, in the little money that I have. And it's not enough. I'm praying, God, all these people I'm seeing on social media, blessing people, bring me to that place also. Can you pray? Can you open your mouth now and pray? Lord, bless me so that I'll be a blessing to the kingdom. Yes. So what are these benefits that accompany this covenant that we are praying into? Because on Saturday, we seal it at the communion table and anointing service. And God will look at you and say, let me see if you will do. 
as you have said and he will open doors for you and i'll be lifting you up in prayer and oh this father this your son must not fail uh, give him the grace give her the grace give this give your daughter the grace yes you have blessed her amen somebody now covenant of abundance and the abundance of god helps you to remove generational causes helps you to remove generational causes can i open the generational cause helps you to remove it why abundance of god breaks it because when noah make the sacrifice unto god after god said look here I, i'm destroying everything i'm destroying everything and noah made a sacrifice god swore he said i will not again do this i will not again i will not again abundance number one distress generational causes are you still with me i want you to look deep i just want to show you something in the scripture that's why i'm opening scriptures right now what did i say the covenant of abundance removes avert generational causes the sacrifices of now you must be willing are you willing to break generational causes in your family or upon you are you willing and god blessed now and his sons and said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon wait 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 in verse 20 of genesis 8 he said and noah builded an altar unto the lord and took of every clean beast and offer every clean fowl offered burnt offering unto the altar he took who gave him listen listen friends who gave noah those are the same beast animal he carried into the ark maybe some of those animals have reproduced inside the ark but he took of them clean ones clean ones you carry clean nose to go and spray in parties you carry dirty nose to the church you dress your best to go and dance worldly music that you are unavailable you dress in your best to attend birthday parties and wedding that will end here on earth and you are going to god's presence with tata jeans and t-shirt that oh my god some people will say it doesn't matter god sees your heart when you say, I'm going to the Lord's house, ah, I'm going to the Lord's house, I'm going to dress well. God sees the reason you are doing it. Not to impress anybody in the church. Say, because of you are dressing so well. Uh, we don't want every uh, people to be jealous of, to be looking. So everybody wear white garment. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, I'm not telling you it's wrong. But I'm telling you, if you can do in the worldly realm. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, ah, by the covenant of abundance let every generational cause that is still hiding in my family hiding upon my head be broken today open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray lord today i build an altar of prayer to break every generational cause running in my family at my own instance it is broken open your mouth and pray every cause ancestral cause that is still raining that is still operating in my life in my family be broken today be destroyed today be broken today be destroyed today be broken today by reason of the covenant of abundance be destroyed today in the name of jesus be destroyed today moshata leba barote kaba masoli endose irapotata badeshate kaparotas and the bretos are you praying be destroyed Coven generational cause that is still operating ancestral cause that is still hiding he said he redeemed us from the cause of the law. The Bible did not say he redeemed us from sin. No. He redeemed us from the cause of the law. Inside the cause of the law is sin. Because the death, the cause of death is both spiritual death and physical death. The only thing that brings death in sin, that is, is packaged inside the cause of the law. Under the cause of the law too is the cause of poverty. Under the cause of the law too is sickness and disease. Today, lift up your right hand. Generational cause stay hiding in my family. That is still sounding in my life. Today, be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus, every sign, every symptom of generational cause, every symptom of ancestral cause that is still following me, following my children, be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Today, by the reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, be shattered in Jesus' mighty name. 
Amen. And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord and took every clean beast and of every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Where is your altar? Is your heart. Are you ready to rebuild it? And in verse 21, he said, And the Lord smelled sweet sorrow. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite anymore everything living as I have done. Can you talk to God with that scripture? He smelled it. He smelled the sacrifice. What are you bringing to him? What are you doing? His father said, ah, this is my son, this is my daughter is making a lot of sacrifice. I will not again cause the ground for him. Round up that prayer. I'm go we are going to pray two more deep prayer points. I'll let you go and prepare for Saturday. It's going to be a mighty one. I want you to lift up your hand again. My father, my God every cause that is still raining in my life ah, that is making me to cry secretly every cause still operating through my ancestors and affecting me by the reason of this covenant of abundance let it be broken today 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 be destroyed today be destroyed today be destroyed today be destroyed today in the name of jesus be destroyed today every generation of course ancestral course of disobedience of occultic realm that's still operating in my life in jesus mighty name we pray can somebody shout amen can somebody shout amen generational courses are broken at the table of the covenant of abundance. Abundance comes by obeying the dictates of the contract. The conditions given by sacrifice, by doing. God has said his word. He said you that seek righteousness, that want to and you are seeking to meet me, to see me. He said look at your father Abraham and look at sarah your mother that bore you and we are connected to father abraham and mother sarah by reason of the blood of jesus christ if you don't know the cross at calvary link us to him today ah uh, as i enter 2024 there shall not a uh, generational cost is broken in my life generational cost, ancestral cost that is still ravaging my finances ravaging my life is over it's over let somebody say it's over it's over it's over in the name of jesus amen now look at it verse 22 to give you confidence in his word he said while the earth remained seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. That if they cease, that means it is over. It means my covenant is finished. When you wake up and you still see the day, and the night still cometh, and there is still winter and summer, <laughs> it's a seed time and harvest is still there. This is my seed. The Lord told me, if you check all what I've been writing, I said, ultimate harvest, ultimate grace. 2024 is our year of ultimate harvest, ultimate grace. By the word of God. I want you to go into the second realm of prayer. Now, listen. Genesis 8, 20 to 22, gave us access that God said, that's cause and break it today i will not again cost you that generational cause that have ravaged you i will take it away because of the sacrifice of noah that has smelt he said now for you to know that i mean it while this earth remained as long as you are still here sit time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night shall not cease and in Jeremiah, 3, in Jeremiah 33 said, if I, if I, if I can stop the, from the day not to break from the night, he said that is when there will be no, nobody to inherit the throne of David. As long as there is day and night. I want you to lift up your hand. Father, I thank you for breaking away every ancestral course that have ravaged my life. 
that have run. Look, ancestral cause can bring poverty. Ancestral cause can bring near success syndrome. When there is a generational cause, things it is failing and failing. Success up and down, up and down, up and down. Then some people are tired. Ah, Father, bring me to a place that I will get, I will tell, give testimony. Enjoy. Some people are looking at you so much. They are helping you to find solution that is evil. In this place that I am, somebody looked at me, looked at what I was going through, and was giving me example of somebody that did money ritual. And my soul was crying. Oh, you don't understand. There is coming a day, and very soon, by God's grace, I will testify of it and deep things deeper. Which means, ah, I know somebody that was passing through what you are passing that went to do money ritual. He's trying to give me an offer. And I said, God, over to you. You see now? I said, you see now? Father, you see? <laughs> they are even giving me solution. It will not be your portion. It's not my portion in the name of Jesus. Now, because of time, we only pray one more prayer. We pray one more prayer. Now, true, I'm go we are going to pray. We are praying benefits of covenant of abundance. Let's. Oh, let me open Psalm, Psalm 41 for you quickly. I will pray it. Psalm 41, and I will let you go today. Ah, I want to see how many of you will say, "Man of God." I want to join you in this ministry that God has called you into. And what can I do? What can I be doing with you for you every time, every month, every week? I want to be part of it. As heaven records you, as you records it as your own input. Servant of God, what can we do? Psalm 41. Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Bam. Now, there are things, there are certain things we say on pulpit, we need time to explain it so that people don't misunderstand it. Yesterday, I'm sure I was talking about people, all the, uh, because of what is going on, on social media, they are no more sowing seed in the church, they are no more giving offering. They say, I'm giving to the poor, I'm going to the needy, they are going to house of orphans and this. And I said the word. Those things are, heaven recognizes it, God recognizes it, but it is not working in covenant fully yes you are going giving to the needy but you don't have christ in your life you are not walking in the path of christ you are only being established on earth that is what i'm saying call me anytime i will explain it to you why a man while on earth is doing so much good to the needy helping the poor building schools feeding them yes the god recognizes it but it's not an access to, for, to eternity. No, it's not a qualification to make heaven. God recognizes it and he gives the person room on earth. Grant the person favor before people. Grant the person health for doing that. But it's not an access to reign with Christ in heaven. Go and ask your pastor that this is, one, this is what one bald-headed -head man said. Psalm 41 and verse 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. It is true. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou will, and thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. Ha! Verse 3. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of language. Thou will make all his bed. Make up his bed in his sickness covenant of abundance brings you divine health the covenant of abundance guarantees health guarantees your healing covenant you can call god to witness it god i am giving to the needy i'm helping the poor heal me from this sickness and god will answer i am blessing your servant i am putting this in the kingdom attend god will answer because it is true you are doing it and it is one of the conditions of the covenant hello somebody i want someone that can pray now so i can round up you are going to call to call to record every good that you have done to the poor to the needy every good thing you've done for them 
Every good deed you've done in the kingdom of God that have not answered to you yet. There are some people I will call you, I will tell you directly, do this for me or for the kingdom. I'm not playing when I ask you to. There's a reason. Open your mouth and say, my father, my God, I call to record, I call to remembrance every good thing, every good thing, every consideration of the poor, every offering that I have given into the kingdom and to the poor, every help I call to record today, oh Lord God, answer and heal me of every sickness that is in my body. In the name of Jesus, bring me, oh Lord, preserve me. Keep me away. Keep me alive. Bless me upon this earth. Deliver me from the wills of my enemies. Can somebody pray? By reason of every step I have taken, by reason of the good deeds that I've done, oh Lord, preserve me. Are you praying? Are you praying? Pray. Let me read the scripture to you again. Then you will pray. Then we'll round up for today. Remember, we've only prayed two out of the benefits of the covenant of abundance. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Number one. Is there any trouble? Do you know you can enter trouble by yourself? The trouble you, the trouble you manufacture by yourself. Or the trouble people bring. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver me from in time of trouble. My Father, my God, let us pray those verses now. Say, Lord God Almighty, deliver me from every trouble. Deliver me from the trouble that the enemy have raised against me. Deliver me, Father, today from the trouble that I have I have worked out myself. Oh Lord God, according to your word, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Remember to pray that Lord bless me so that I can also bless the poor. Bless me that I can provide for the needy bring to me oh god thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray amen if you are waiting to become a millionaire before you help the needy before you give to the kingdom it may not come because in the little that god have placed in your hand you have not been able to do anything with it so you are already sending a letter to god that i resign you are saying god don't bless me because i can't God put little in your hand, you cannot do anything with it. And you're asking him to give me more first, I will now do. No, you won't do it. It's difficult to give tight or to pay your tight out of plenty than out of little. But when you see the tight of that plenty, you say, Oh, is this the amount I'm going to put in the josh? Oh, no, 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 no. You will now begin to, the devil will now begin to give you reason. But I pray with you today. The Lord will bless you so that you will be a blessing to the needy. In Jesus' mighty name. Number two, the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou and thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. You see why all those that have no Christ in their life, all the good things they are doing, they are carrying rice, indomie, chicken to the orphanage, to the old woman, going to the street doing all that but they have no christ in them yes god will remember them god will preserve them god will keep them alive upon the earth they will be blessed but they can't make heaven mm -mm. so what will it benefit anyone that is doing that and still miss heaven now come and see the one that have christ living in christ walking by his word and doing those things ah the Lord will preserve you. I want you to say, Father, preserve my soul on this earth. Preserve me. Do not deliver me to the will of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the wills of my enemies. Do not deliver me, O oh God, to the wills, the expectation of my enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father, open the door of 2024 to total deliverance, total coverage in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Finally, pray this prayer. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of language. And thou will make all his bed in his sickness. Listen. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of language. What is the bed of language? The bed of sickness. The bed of pain. The Lord will strengthen me. The Lord will strengthen me. The Lord will strengthen him. 
upon the bed of language thou will make all his bed in his sickness i'm reading from king james i will go and look at what the amplified version and the new living translation says about this the covenant of abundance i'm praying to you psalm 41 verse 1 2 and 3 we have only prayed two benefits out of about nine benefits that i want to us to pray to so before you go today consider this verse three the lord will strengthen me upon the bed of language god strengthen me today upon every sickness upon every issue of my life strengthen me strengthen me strengthen me strengthen my hands in the name of jesus that will make all his bed in his sickness that will make all his bed in he will make his bed say no rise up this bed is not meant for you let's make this bed rise up from your sickness father lord the covenant of abundance that you have brought to me and giving me room to be a blessing to the poor today father let your strength come upon me every area of my life let your strength come upon me in my finances in my body in the name of jesus thank you father in the precious name of jesus christ i said lord be merciful unto me Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. That's what he now said. You are going home today because on Saturday, friend, friends, don't miss the anointing service as we seal up the covenant of divine provision and abundance. If the Lord can reveal to you what abundance is, he's trying to reveal himself to you. God is abundant. I have told you by revelation, help me tell your pastor, that one pastor said God's other name is called abundance. That's his other name. Now listen to me. He said God, Jesus, he said he has come to give life and give it abundantly. <laughs> you can live a life. If you don't live it abundantly, it's not complete. There is life and there is abundant life. Abundant life is his will. The covenant of divine provision and abundance is the expression of God in your life. It covers everything. So all these benefits are what the covenant of abundance brings. We have built a foundation which I will summarize when we come back. But go home today and begin to say, my father, my God, I assess the covenant of abundance. Bless me so that I will be a blessing. Let that be your 24-hour prayer before we come back on Saturday. That God bless me to be, let it come from your heart, not your mouth, for you to be a blessing to the poor, to the needy. For you to be a kingdom promoter, for you to be someone that partakes in kingdom investment. Ah! I'm removing every obstacle from me. Lord, I'm entering a new year to be a kingdom addict one more time i've not done enough kingdom addicts that i will whatever little big that's coming if god put little in your hand you cannot use it for him he's not giving you a big one round big, lift up your hands right now and say father i go home today knowing that you will bless me to be a blessing to my generation give me another chance god wants to give you another chance god wants to give you another chance god wants to give you another chance Give me another chance, oh God, to be a blessing to my generation. Give me another chance, Father, to be a blessing to my generation. Thank you, Father. Remember the first benefit we pray that the covenant of abundance does what it breaks and removes adverse generational causes. And we use the case of Noah. Go back to Genesis 8 20 to 22. No more generational curse upon your head. Lift up your hands and say, Father, I thank you. I bless your name for giving me access to covenant of abundance. Give me the grace to fulfill the conditions. Come on, somebody. Come on. Father, grant me the grace to fulfill the conditions of the covenant of abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. 2024 will not be the same. Oh God Almighty, I'm entering into affluence. I'm entering into abundance to be a blessing to the kingdom, to be a blessing to the needy in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Can you thank God with me? Open your mouth and thank God with me. For why? For granting you access into this covenant. Say, Lord, I thank you. Mapodene. Everyone, listen to me. By, by my spirit, what I can see. Everyone with me today that have come online today, both on YouTube and on WhatsApp, I tell you in 45 days from now, 
go and cast that counting from today 45 days from now you will look back and say i never know that i will be so blessed like this 45 days from now is a build up it's called a build up wealth a build up entity a build up promotion for you those that have been with me now and i pray for everyone on our platform in jesus mighty name thank you lord blessed be your holy name Remember, brethren, it's seven weeks of divine covenant access. The fourth week is just rounding up. On Saturday, we are going to come to the communion table. Come with your communion, whatever you are going to use to take as the flesh and as the body, the blood of Jesus Christ, either your, your cranberry juice or your wine or the communion wine that you have bought will come to his presence. It's going to be through online like this. On Saturday, the same time, 4 p.m. Central Time come there and come with your bottle of anointing oil as we are going to partake at the communion table and we anoint ourselves and we go forth and express our joy in 2024 in the covenant of divine provision and abundance divine provision means when you when you lack solution to what you want god will just make it happen from anywhere and we are going to pray and make a place of demand on the name of jesus christ god bless you mightily remember your take-home prayer 24 hour prayer lord bless me indeed and grant me the grace to fulfill the conditions of the covenant of abundance may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god fellowship of the holy ghost rest and abide with us now and forevermore ensure